I'm going to share with you all the perfumes I am excited to wear this season. You guys know cannabis is not really something that I would like to walk around smelling like. Hearing tobacco, you really think, mmm, that can't smell good. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Diaphne. If you're new here, welcome. Bienvenue and thank you for clicking on today's video. I have some new goodies in my collection that I am also excited to share with you and some of them are just staples for sure. Anyway, let's get into the video. The very first one that I'm going to mention here, I am very excited to say I will be buying a full size of this and add it in my collection. It is the YSL Libre Le Parfum. I am so excited to say I really like this one. This is a very new, I would say less than a month. I just got it during the Sephora VIB sale and I've been wearing it. Oh my gosh, this perfume smells so good. It smells so sexy and just sensual and just, I absolutely love this perfume. I am excited, I am so happy that I'm able to add this to my collection because as I told you guys, if you did not see my Sephora video, I've been wanting to like one of the YSL Libre perfumes because I love the bottle so much. But all of the other ones just did not work for me. But this one works perfectly. I don't really like it alone. I'm not sure why. I think wearing it alone will have to grow on me. In just a minute, I'm going to share with you which perfume I like to mix it with. But first, let's get into the notes for this fragrance. Libre Le Parfum is categorized as a warm floral perfume. And the keynotes here are Saffron Accord, Orange Flower, and Absolute Diva Lavender Heart. I was a little nervous about the lavender note in here because usually lavender does not mesh well with my body chemistry. But here it just, it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. And my favorite way, my favorite way to wear this perfume is to mix it with Bal d'Afrique from Byredo. I absolutely love this combination. As you can see, my Bal d'Afrique is completely gone now. It is a favorite of mine year round. I love this perfume. Please keep in mind that I live in Florida, so it's never really, really cold. So I can get away with wearing floral and more fresh perfumes year round. Bal d'Afrique is one of those perfumes I feel like everyone needs in their collection. It does layer very, very well with the rest of my perfumes. It is your white t-shirt, fresh, clean girl aesthetic kind of perfume. I love it. The notes here are African marigold, bergamot, and bushu, Moroccan cedarwood, and vetiver. I think the vetiver here in Bal d'Afrique is one of the best vetiver I have ever smelled in any fragrance in my life. I kid you not. It smells amazing. If you have not, if you have not sampled this, you should definitely go and smell it. I am not kidding you. It is one of the best perfumes for you to have in your collection and you can wear it year round. I absolutely love, 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 love this combo. <sighs> I love it. The second perfume I am excited to wear is also a new one that I, I just added to my collection and it is Alien Goddess Perfume Intense. If I'm wrong on the name, I will have the correction on the screen. But I have the sample size and I've been wearing it as well, mixed with something else I'm going to share with you in a minute. I'm not set on whether I love it or not, but I love it paired with this next perfume I'm going to share with you. But this is the bottle. This bottle as well, even the, the travel size bottle, is just amazing to look at. 
You guys know the bottles always get me. So this one right here, I absolutely fell in love with the bottle and I decided to give it a try. And I like it. It has a little vanilla in it. I mean, it's not it's not my most excited to wear perfume. I can't say it is, but I love to wear it mixed with my Cartier Baiser Volé perfume. You guys know Baiser Volé is definitely not new in my collection. It is more of a spring and summer scent. It is very lightweight, a little powdery, you know, a nice little classic floral, I would say. But I absolutely love the mixture of Baiser Volé, which gives me white button down. You have your hair looking very nice, maybe in a ponytail or down. You're wearing your glasses, you have your your tote bag and you're going into trader joe's or something you're buying flowers it, it gives me that kind of vibe like it smells really good just a pretty woman and i love to mix it with this alien alien is a little more edgy for me um i'm saying based on the scents that i like alien is a little more edgy for me so mixing it with busy Volé just makes it a little more a little prettier in my opinion so alien is a warm floral perfume and the notes are bergamot jasmine and vanilla i'm pretty sure there are other notes in here but those are the main notes here um, listed on sephora and i love it the bergamot the jasmine and vanilla like i said it's pretty it's a pretty perfume but it it's not it doesn't excite me you know it's just i like it I like it a lot, I do, but I like to mix it for sure. So, this is my Cartier Les Evolé. You guys, if you've been following me for a while, you have seen this perfume and you have heard me talk about it. It is so pretty, so airy, so white t-shirt, clean girl aesthetic. It is very different from Bal d'Afrique. As in, it's a little more... Baldafrique is lighter, if that makes sense. Like in just the way it makes you feel in the mood. Baiser Volé has a little more depth to it, but it's still very light. It's still very white t-shirt, spring, summer kind of vibe. Let's talk about the notes for Baiser Volé. Okay, so Baiser Volé is a fragrance of pure passion, which... I totally agree. Like I tell you guys, like it has a little more depth to it. It is powdery. It is a pretty woman. I absolutely love it. She's elegant. She's that's what that's what it gives me. And I really, really like it. The keynotes are lily, pistils, lily leaves, and lily petals. So it's just a whole bunch of lily. It's a floral fragrance, right? But I love it. I don't know how they have the lily smelling like a little powdery, a little sensual, a little sexy, a little girl next door. It is all of that for me. And I love, 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 love Baiser Volé. I will always have it in my collection, you guys, as long as they keep making it for sure. The next one I have here is one that is not new to my collection, but it's been a while since I pulled it out. And I don't know because I think it is discontinued, but not I think, it is discontinued. But there are some places I can find it for you guys, so I will link it down below, not to worry. And this is Balenciaga Flora Botanica. This bottle, always intrigues me this is more of a floral fragrance honestly but there is something in there that gives it this depth that makes me like to wear it a little more in the fall and winter this is my fall and winter perfume i love to pull this out i've been wearing this perfume for years you guys since i was a very young nurse and um my very first job i think it was 20 2017 2015 around there seven eight nine years ago this is this is how long i've been wearing this this perfume with chloe also chanel coco mademoiselle those were my first 
designer fragrances that I started buying pretty young, you know? And this was definitely the very first perfume, one of them, the very first perfumes that I started using. And it's still in my collection and I'm no longer a young nurse, but I still love it. I feel like as a woman in my early 30s, this also fit me, is very pretty, I love it. It has a little edginess to it. it does have a little mysterious you want to know what is that you want to know what this person is wearing you know what i mean it smells really really pretty but it's also very mysterious like what are you wearing you know what i mean this is this i absolutely love it let's talk about the notes so some of the notes in this perfume this is a very com not very but to me it's it's a little Okay, so we have Amber Cannabis, which always just surprises me every time I read there's cannabis in here because I do not smell it. You guys know cannabis is not really something that I would like to walk around smelling like because I want to smell pretty, I want to smell fresh, I want to smell like a flower, or I want to smell a little woodsy with a little vanilla, you know? not really like cannabis but it does have cannabis in it but i can't really smell it we also have here carnation some mint and rose so it is it is a very nice mixture of different things and it smells very nice but it is also something that you either like it or you don't i don't have any perfume in my collection or nor have I smelled a perfume that has this particular fragrance DNA. I have not smelled something that smells similar to this Flora Botanica ever. This is a very unique scent. So like I said, it's either you like it or you don't. I would say if you're interested in buying this, you should definitely sample it before you do. I know as of right now, Scentbird does have samples of this, like smaller little sample bottles that you can sample before you decide to get a bigger bottle. But if you love it, like you, you will love it. Like there's no question about it. I love this stuff. I have a couple of more. This, I have a new one also in my collection that I love to mix. I'm going to talk about it. It is from the House of Byredo. It is Gypsy Water. I love Gypsy Water. I can wear this year round. I find that I like to wear this in the summer, summer and spring. I can wear it alone. It is more of a salty kind of fragrance. I would say it reminds me a little bit, not saying it's the same, but if I was thinking of something that I could say it reminds me of, maybe Beach Walk by um, Maison Margiela. Don't quote me on that. I could be wrong because I already forgot how Beach Walk smells anyway. But this one here, it smells like my skin but better. A little musky. Um, I, I don't know. Clean and musky and just fresh. I really, really like this. I also love to pair this with my Baiser Volé. My Baiser Volé this year is literally the one perfume that I use to layer with almost everything in my collection. I don't know if I mentioned, I probably didn't, but I am revamping my fragrance collection. I find that my taste in fragrance has changed. I do still have a lot of the same fragrances that I love, but I also have a lot of them that I no longer use, so I'm taking them out i don't wish to just hold on to fragrances that i no longer wear just because anyway gypsy water i absolutely love 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 gypsy water with my busy volet it just gives it something for me gypsy water is such a pretty fragrance but i feel like it's probably one of those you either like it or you don't also fragrances it has bergamot juniper berries lemon pepper incense orris pine needle sandalwood amber and vanilla you guys do know sandalwood amber vanilla bergamot those notes and perfumes always just draw me in so I just love the combination of all of those. Gypsy water is not something that is so strong and offensive. 
It smells really good. All the little notes work together to make the perfume amazing, but not super strong and offensive. So I love, love, love. I see a theme going on here. All of my perfumes for this season are not super, super strong, but I am going to get into the stronger ones <laughs> that are a little woodsy and a little, you know, masculine leaning almost. The first one in that category is Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. You guys knew this was coming. You knew it if you've been watching me. This fragrance, since I've gotten it, has been my pride and joy. I think this is my second or third bottle. I absolutely love, 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 love Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. You guys, but this one is another one. If you like very feminine scents and you like very floral scents, you might want to stick to the ones I talked about before. But this one is not your floral girly scent. This is a very deep scent, leaning almost masculine. But the vanilla in here is what makes it wearable for me as a woman. I feel like the vanilla bring down some of the masculinity of this fragrance and just makes it uh, sexy in a way for a woman to wear. I love it. It's very woodsy when you first spray it. It gives you that depth, you know, like I said, almost masculine leaning. And then the vanilla dry down is just beautiful. I love, ugh. I love tobacco vani and I am so excited to start wearing it again for this season. Let's talk about the notes here. Tobacco vani is considered a warm and spicy scent. It is unisex, it is layerable, of course. And our keynotes here are tobacco leaf, vanilla, and ginger. I don't really get the ginger in this, but I do get the tobacco leaf and the vanilla, the mix. Now, hearing tobacco, you really think, mm, that can't smell good, but it's like a more refined tobacco. I don't know how to explain it. There's a candle that I love. It's called tobacco, what is it called? Tobacco pipe, something like that. If I can find it, I'll put it on a screen. It's in the same family. If you know that candle, you can find it at TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshalls, Home Goods. I actually need to go get some for this um, season because I really, really love it. But like I said, it's in the same family, you know, and it smells really, really good. When you light this candle up, it doesn't smell like, oh, you like smoking tobacco. You know what I mean? It's a refined tobacco. It's almost like refined coffee, if that makes sense. I hope I'm making sense, but it smells really, 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 really good. I, like I said, I don't get the ginger in there, but I do get the vanilla and the tobacco. It's, it's amazing. I have two more left. Haha, -ha, very predictable. The perfumes that I'm going to talk about next. It is from the Maison Margiela replica line. I have a By the Fireplace and Jazz Club. I don't even have to go in depth about these two because you know them. You've heard people talk about them. You've heard me talk about them. Every season, I'm pulling these out. I'm sorry, but yes. Yes, yes, yes. I absolutely love them. I don't get tired of them. I find that I gravitate more towards Jazz Club and then I smell by the fireplace and I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot how much I love this scent. So, both of them will be in rotation this season. I am so happy, you guys. I am so happy to be able to enjoy my perfumes again, to be able to wear whatever I want. For a while now, I could not smell anything. Nothing, okay? I couldn't smell anything. <laughs> but besides Chloe, okay, the original Chloe. That was the only perfume I was able to smell. But anyway, Jazz Club will be in heavy, heavy rotation. The Mizzo Margiela replica line is definitely designed, in case you don't know, it is designed to replicate a memory, if that makes sense, like take you there in a memory. So Jazz Club pretty much 
it's the period of brooklyn in 2013 so when you smell this it's supposed to transport you to a jazz club just think of cigars and dancing and beautiful music this is what this smell like and i love it i love it it is heady cocktail in cigars exactly that i love jazz club i find that i love jazz club a little more than by the fireplace but jazz club leans a little more masculine than by the fireplace by the fireplace is a little more a little sweeter and i find that a lot of people a lot of people like by the fireplace a little more than jazz club so it's all about preference but they both smell amazing by the fireplace here says the description is burning wood and chestnut you guys it's true it is true i just love these i love the bottles i love the design i love how simple they are i love i just love everything about the replica line i will have the notes of each of these on the screen for you i think this is a nicely curated perfume collection that i have here for me to try some newer ones some older ones i think it's i love it it's i love everything here so yeah i think this is the end of the video you guys thank you so much for watching thank you for hanging out with me don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys very soon in my next video bye